the moon and welcome to Cyberholic Vlog. 17 days since rock bottom number two. 17 days of sober life again. And I am starting to feel pretty damn good. In fact, I'm actually feeling really, really good. So I thought I'd catch up with you. I'm just at work at the moment though, driving a truck around today to pick up my little girl this afternoon, which I'm pretty excited about. I'm just sitting here waiting for a load at the minute. So 17 days, how does it feel? Well, to be honest with you, it feels amazing. I am already starting to feel physically a whole lot better. Um, mentally and emotionally, feeling a lot better as well. More able to deal with things that are going on and as they come up. Um, definitely a lot happier. Like I it's so uncanny to think how much I've been struggling to find my happiness and yet now that I'm sober it's it's right here when I'm starting to feel a bit down I, I just go and do something I go and do something that I enjoy I've picked up skating again I've got right back into skating I pretty much have gone over a year now I've only been skating twice um, you probably notice on the channel there's a whole lot less skating nowadays I didn't enjoy it. I wasn't enjoying it. I was going out and I was using it as another weapon to hurt myself. I would just go out and throw myself at tricks that I didn't know how to do or couldn't do. Um, and to see what happened and it was just, it turned into another way to hurt myself. And I think subconsciously I must have known that because I pulled back and I didn't want to skate and I didn't enjoy it. Um, the last five days I have skated every single day and I'm feeling amazing. It's so good to be active again and to have that extra energy that's going on. Oh man, my legs are a little bit sore. They've, um, they've gone from basically no exercise to exercising again. So there's a bit of an adjustment period there, but other than that, physically, I'm feeling great. I just noticed now recording this video, my eyes are a lot clearer and a lot brighter these days. My skin is absolutely horrible. I mean, I'm in a truck with no air conditioning today, so I'm quite hot. Uh, but I've had a lot of breakouts with um, acne and that sort of stuff going on, which I remember happened the first time I stopped drinking as well. It's not as severe this time, obviously, because I didn't have quite such a chemical dependence. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling really, really good and enjoying life so much. It's kind of frustrating to think how long I was stuck down in that darkness and not getting out of it, not getting myself out of it. Even though I knew, I knew there was better out there. I knew I could be doing better, but I just couldn't seem to get better. So to be back now and feeling better is just, oh, it's such an amazing feeling. I, I can't put into words how good it feels to be not tied into that demon anymore and of course there's still struggles there's still struggles that are going to be coming as well like it's it's not just you stop drinking today and then tomorrow everything's perfect it takes a lot of hard work and at the moment i'm having a succession of really good days and all the positive effects are really compiling at the moment and making me feel really good and really happy uh, but yeah, there there eventually will be a crash. Um, that emotional side of things will come into it and really overtake all the benefits. And that's a struggle. That's a struggle to look out for because it doesn't last forever. It's just one of those things that comes and goes. And if you set yourself up strong beforehand, you're in a better position to deal with it. So I mean, that's yeah, it's all really good right now, but. Like I say it's important to just keep focusing on the end goal don't get too far ahead of yourself realize that yeah you might be feeling great today but tomorrow there could be a bad day so be prepared for that don't be scared of it but be prepared for it because hey it's gonna happen but you're an addict man you've been through worse than that I know I have <laughs> I know I'm gonna get through whatever life throws at me just around this next corner I swear, only in Australia could you be sweating at this hour of the night. Job is done though. Well, almost. The job I had to do up here and put trailer and machine on that is done. 
time for me to go home. That was one long day. I am finally home, ready to jump into my bed. Well, we haven't been in here for a while. I, I remodeled, I, I minimized. I brought a truck home from work one weekend, threw basically everything I could into the back of it and took it to the dump. And I feel a lot better. I feel a lot lighter and I feel a lot happier. I've got rid of so much rubbish and junk in this house. It's just been sitting here doing nothing for years except taking up space and I haven't bothered to get around to get rid of any of it. And now I have and I feel a lot better for doing that. I feel a lot better for basically everything at the moment. I feel lighter, I feel fresher, I feel freer. I've just had a massive day. So I left home at um, 5 o'clock this morning. It's 10.30 now and I've just got home from work. I had Mika this afternoon after work and then I had to take the truck back up to the yard, load that machine onto it. And yeah, I'm finally home now. So it has been a massive day. It's been go, go, go all day. And it'll be the same again tomorrow and the same again the day after. And I look at times like this and I'm like, man, how did I even find time to drink? Because it just, it feels like I never stop. It feels like I'm always busy always doing something which is good when it's healthy things the way I got away with drinking was the fact I would just stop doing things I wouldn't do things I wouldn't clean up my house I wouldn't go places I definitely wouldn't be working at this hour of the night because I wouldn't be able to drive so I just I had a lot of time of doing nothing whereas now all my time is filled with productive things and it's it's good I feel healthy, I feel fresh, I feel free, and I feel like I'm achieving things. So yeah, that's basically all I wanted today, it was just a bit of an update. But you know what's been going on where I'm at at this period in time? <sighs> I'm happy. I'm really happy. I'm really glad that I finally stopped destroying myself, and I'm now moving forward doing the hard work and the hard yards and feeling a lot better for it. It's amazing. It's awesome. <sighs> Man, I am ready for bed. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. See you on the next one. Bye! Don't wake me up.